What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome to episode 3 of All About Disney. So basically if you didn't know, uh, All About Disney is a new series of videos I've started doing where I talk about everything about a certain Disney character or theme in Disney Infinity 2.0. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I never touched upon the Disney side when I started doing Disney Infinity 2.0 videos. I just did Marvel. I talked about all the Marvel characters. Uh, play sets, power discs, etc. But I never touched upon Disney and I know a lot of you uh, really wanted to see that. So I decided to do this because personally I am excited for both the Marvel and Disney side. Probably a little more to the Marvel because it's new and it's so exciting to see like Spider-Man and I can make my own Spider-Man adventures and things. But I am still super excited for, you know, Donald Duck, Hero, Baymax, etc. So anyway, uh, today's episode is going to be all about Aladdin. I'm going to be talking about Aladdin, uh, Jasmine, you know, all their abilities, their power discs, um, everything. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so it's only fair that ladies go first, so let's start with Jasmine. So Jasmine may look like, you know, an ordinary princess, but truthfully, she can easily handle herself in a fight, which you'll see from the trailer, which, uh, you know, I'll link in the description. Uh, she can perform a variety of melee moves on her enemies and even has a really cool looking jump attack which again you can see in the trailer. Now um, the character I think she reminds me of is more like uh, Black Widow uh, because she's more about the melee combat. She doesn't really have a weapon from what I've seen. She's just you know punches and kicks which is really cool because it's always nice to see more melee combat characters because uh, that was kind of the thing with 1.0 that I was kind of it kind of missed out on was like Mr. Incredible was kind of the guy that you know you would go to if you wanted to do punches and things but everyone else didn't really feel as fun as him if you know what I mean so it's really nice to see characters like Jasmine and Black Widow who can you know do punches and kicks and things so that's really cool and as for getting around the world you know Jasmine like pretty much all characters in 2.0 has an unlockable super jump ability I really like the super jump ability I think it's really cool and I think it's gonna be you know a lot of fun to traverse through the toy box or the play sets or whatever character you're playing as I think it's gonna be a really great feature now they haven't really touched upon anything else um, about Jasmine so if you'd like to hear you know more information about Jasmine basically just watch the the uh, trailer in the description which I'll put in the description and uh, it, you know it'll take you right there and it's, it shows you tons of things you know uh, lots of cool little uh, combat moves and the super jump ability and uh, you know the ground pound move tons of stuff really really cool and definitely uh, worth a look all right so next up here we have Aladdin so Aladdin has a variety of combat moves using his trusty scimitar sword uh, so for example you could easily attack enemies as usual uh, you can actually block incoming attacks and then deflect them, which uh, Ronan from the Guardians of the Galaxy playset can also do. Uh, you can even perform a spinning attack or even charge the scimitar and throw it at nearby enemies, which is similar to how Captain America can throw his shield, uh, which is really cool. I mean, Aladdin has a lot of cool abilities and I think he's probably one of my most anticipated characters on the Disney side of 2.0. I mean, Hero, Baymax, uh, Aladdin and probably Stitch are the most anticipated for me. They just, they all look amazing. The rest of them are really cool, but those are my personal favorites so far. Uh, Aladdin actually has a special move as well. Uh, I think every character has a special move, they just haven't showed them all off yet. But Aladdin's special move is called Curse of the Lamp. Now what this does is it basically deals a large amount of damage to enemies whilst pulling them into the lamp. So it's really cool and very similar to the, you know, the movie. It's a really nice move. Um, and like most characters in 2.0, again, just like Jasmine, Aladdin also has his very own super jump ability, which again, you can unlock through the skill tree when you upgrade your character. Alright, so you now all know what comes next, and that is of course the screenshots. So, first off, here we see Aladdin driving one of uh, Mr. Incredible's vehicles in the game. That's a really cool vehicle, I love driving around in that. Uh, Jesse's driving one of the Lone Ranger vehicles, I believe. Uh, Vanellope, I'm not sure how to get that one, maybe it's from the Marvel playset or something, because it, it does look quite modern, uh, and when the vehicles look more modern, it seems to be more on the Marvel side rather than Disney. And Mickey, I can't remember what that vehicle is called, but I have seen that many times before, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I can't remember what it's called right now, but oh well. Uh, and yeah, you know, you can race around the toy box, it's really cool. I mean, if you didn't know, and you've probably seen Disney Infinity before, it's, it's getting much more popular now. Uh, but you will have seen the the 
majority of it as combat you know you're, you're fighting enemies you're going through levels and etc but it can become a racing game if you want it to you know and it's not grounded racing either you can make loop-de-loops uh, you could do flips on the track you could have uh, rings of fire it's completely up to you and the limit really is your imagination next up here we see Vanellope and Dash chasing Aladdin because I believe he's maybe stolen their cake or something who knows really uh, but yeah, they have also they have these bears chasing them as well, which is interesting to note because these bears are actually enemies of uh, Merida in the game, and I think you can unlock them when you have that toy box game disc. I think you uh, unlock them to use in the toy box because otherwise, if you couldn't, then these wouldn't be in this picture. So that's pretty cool. And these are really nice looking enemies. I think they'll be really fun for both the Marvel and Disney side. I think they could possibly suit uh, you know Groot kind of themed levels. Maybe you could pretend that these would bears um, have turned against Groot or something I don't know it's just again you know the limit is your imagination next up here we have Aladdin and Jasmine riding the classic flying carpet we can see the up house floating away in the background and we can even see Phineas and Agent P floating on their very own flying carpet and it even has a TV which is interesting now I believe that is actually a new power disc themed after Phineas and Ferb I know a lot of people are wanting to see uh, Ferb join because you know it's not Phineas and Ferb without Ferb uh, and they do have Agent P which is cool but everyone wants Ferb so I'm hoping eventually they'll release him as well and then you know people can play as both of them which would be great this is a nice screenshot that shows off the rail feature in the game so basically you can just jump on a rail as any character and just slide along them it's really cool you can make some crazy things I mean you could make a whole toy box um, revolved around uh, just riding on a rail you could make a huge rail going up and down left right you know it, it could be crazy I'm really excited to see what people do with the new procedural generators because you can actually accurately make a rail now and say I want it to go this way or this way it's, it's really quite amazing Alright, so last but not least, here we can see Jasmine facing off against Mr. Incredible. Jasmine's armed with a fish, I guess? I mean, I imagine that is something really, uh, you know, related to Disney. And you guys are reading this thinking, how does he not know what that is? I'm hoping it's not because because <laughs> I feel stupid if it's not just a fish. Uh, but yeah, and we can also see Mr. Incredible armed with uh, Carl Fredrickson's cane from Up. And that is an amazing movie. And why can't he be armed with uh, his cane? Why not? It's it's in, it's Disney Infinity. You know, you can do whatever you want. Uh, what's also interesting to know here... Oh, yeah, you can see Woody in the background. Uh, but what's also interesting to note here is there's been, I believe, four Toy Box game discs announced. Uh, they are Dungeon Crawlers and also Tower Defense. Now, we've got the Ronin Guardians of the Galaxy one and the Asgardian one. They both come with the Marvel starter pack. And with the Disney starter pack, you get uh, Stitch... Um, and Merida's uh, toy box game discs and I believe some of the environment here is giving us a good example of what stitches uh, you know what what you'll unlock in the stitch toy box game disc and some really nice content here and you could definitely make some cool beaches and things all right so the last thing we need to talk about is of course the power discs now first off we have two here and the first one is Jasmine's palace view this transforms the toy box skyline into the land of Agrabah the next power disc uh, is called the Sands of Agrabah and that transforms the toy box terrain into the dunes and desert of Agrabah. Now what's really cool about both of these power discs to me personally is that you can already get tons of Aladdin content already in 1.0. You can get some of the buildings, you can get the enemies, you can probably get even more that I haven't even unlocked yet because the game is huge. So combine that with the things they're adding now and Aladdin and Jasmine, in, you know, you could practically make your own Aladdin game and I remember reading an interview uh, with one of the developers on Disney Infinity saying that um, you know the idea behind Disney Infinity is allowing us to play as characters that you probably wouldn't be able to play as in video games these days like for example uh, you wouldn't wake up the next morning and find out that a next generation Aladdin game has been announced or a Jack Skellington game that's basically what they were saying and they're right because uh, the beauty of Disney Infinity 2.0 is, like I said, you could make your own Aladdin adventures. And I'm really excited to see what people come up with with the new tools in 2.0. 
Okay, so next up here we have a costume power disc. Now this is actually for Aladdin, which is pretty cool, and it's called the Rags to Riches. So basically this gives you the Prince Ali costume from the movie. And I'll just bring up a picture here which is actually taken from the, uh, the Donald Duck trailer. And it looks really cool, I mean really nice detail and definitely a really cool remake of uh, you know the actual outfit from the movie. I think they did a really good job of uh, you know putting it in the game. It looks exactly like the movie to be honest. And last but not least of the power discs, it wouldn't be Aladdin without the magic carpet. Now, as you saw in some of the screenshots, the carpet looks amazing. Really great um, remake of it from the movie in the game. And this is actually a rare power disc, so you might have a bit of trouble finding this one. I'm not saying you're never going to find it, because you will hopefully find it eventually. But uh, rare power discs are quite difficult to find. But I'll give you a little tip. Uh, if you go into a store and you find uh, a power disc pack, if you actually scratch, um, you know, the uh, the bag with your nail, it might make a, a little noise. And if it makes that noise, it means it's actually a rare power disc, so it's definitely worth buying. So that's a little tip for you guys. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of All About Disney. Stay tuned for lots more news on Disney Infinity 2.0 and Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.